I need another touch just this once more Lord hallelujah I need my healing just this once more Lord praise God amen we're gonna have one of the mightiest prayer lines tonight your faith hallelujah praise God has been charged you here tonight for a mighty outpouring tonight you can have your healing tonight praise God amen whatsoever you ask in his name he's more than able tonight to grant you the desire of your heart you want the Holy Ghost tonight hallelujah the skies are full of the genuine Holy Ghost tonight hallelujah praise God amen and we are gathered under the banner of Jesus Christ tonight hallelujah praise his holy name it's not by power nor by might but it's by my spirit says the lord hallelujah and here we are tonight giving praise all in one heart one accord praise god amen hallelujah praise his holy name the devil has no hold on you tonight he's defeated after this morning's meeting hallelujah the devil has no grounds tonight you can claim what is rightfully yours brothers and sisters hallelujah praise god God, amen. You can ask what you want. Hallelujah. The great and mighty conqueror is here tonight. The captain of the Lord's host. The same God that met with Joshua at the walls of Jericho is here tonight. So you can ask what you want. Hallelujah. He's not against us, but he's for you tonight. Praise God. Amen. He's greater in you tonight than in his situation. Praise God. Amen. We waited upon the Lord and tonight to renew your strength. He's going to let you mount up, hallelujah, with wings as an eagle tonight. Praise His holy name. Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. As we welcome you tonight. Car lights on. And ND 11064. Lights are on. Amen. Are you free tonight? You happy? Hallelujah. I believe we are geared up for this prayer line tonight. We're going to have the mightiest prayer line tonight. And I believe the move is on tonight for the bride movies on no demon gonna stop you where is that Goliath hallelujah you feel like David you got your sling in your hand hallelujah praise God amen no demon can stand before you you can run through a wall hallelujah through a troop leap over a wall you are able tonight praise God amen because great is he that is in you tonight we want that anointing to fall on us tonight. Let's sing that chorus anointing. Fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Just come down and fall on me tonight. As we raise our hands. As we sing it out tonight. As we break away from ourselves. From everything that is contrary tonight. As we sense our mind from the Lord Jesus Christ.
desire you can raise your hand by faith he's passing by this way it is needful for him to pass this way tonight just like it was needful for him to pass by the way of Samaria to meet the woman at the well it is needful for him tonight to pass this way hallelujah as we call him on the scene as our precious brother poor Thunder comes forward at this time to open the meeting in prayer our precious brother young poor Thunder amen Praise God, amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Just sense His sweet presence. Just lose yourself in His presence tonight. Hallelujah. Lose yourself in His love. Feel His warm embrace. Feel Him kiss your heart tonight. Hallelujah. As we pray. Als geen eer al die eer, al die lof, al die heil, die er ons prijs in. Ons dank je, ons grote God, wat zo wonderbaar is. Wat is jij al zo vernederd, hier aan die gestalte van het dienstnacht. Hier had jij al zo wonderbaar vermoorden, hier ook om aan raken, die er die prediken van die woord. Jere, u het ons opgelig, u het ons oprapend geloof gegeen, dier die woord van u. Jere, ons gebed vanavond, Jere, Jesus, Jere, dat u weer die dienst naar so mag sal gebruik. Jere, om u kudde, u kerk, u brei, Jere, so mag te sien, en hulle harte so mag te vul, Jere, met die heilige geest. Ons bid, Jere, vanavond, halleluja, terwijl Jere, die sieke sal opkom, want ons bid, Jere, dat u, Jere, Die geest van genezing sal neerdaal. Jere, elke kwaal sal genees. Elke krippel hier mag gezond mag uitstap. Jere, in Jesus Christus naam. Jere, ons loop en ons prijsie. Ons bid het in Jesus naam. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Just feel free tonight. You want to jump, you can do that. You want to shout, nothing's going to stop you. Hallelujah. You want to sing with everything that is within you. Nothing is going to stop you tonight. Victory is yours tonight. The blood from the lamb that mark me free. Hallelujah. The blood from the lamb that mark me free. The blood from the lamb that mark me free. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, amen, 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 hallelujah, oh yeah, deep blue, vanilla, dead man, may free, deep blue, vanilla, dead man, may free, amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah, oh yeah, deep blue, vanilla, 
tonight praise God amen as the deacons go around for the offering tonight praise God amen sing that wonderful chorus victory is mine victory is mine victory is definitely yours tonight brothers and sisters that is definite amen after this prayer line tonight you truly be able to say victory is mine you can have your victory now already praise God amen as the deacons go around to take up the offerings amen Praise God, amen. Then we'll go straight into the specials. Hallelujah. 
victory is mine victory is mine victory today is mine
on the morning train The evening train might be delayed I'm going home on the morning train Oh, praise God Hallelujah. Can we give the Lord a wave offering? Praise His holy name. Thank you, Jesus. One more time, turn around, shake your neighbor's hand. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We have a vehicle that has to be moved. It's CY45203. I think it's Brother Schubert's, it's a combi, if it could be moved, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise His holy name. Are you happy tonight? Amen. amen. Just want to read out the names for all the specials tonight, if they could get themselves ready to come to the back here. We have our precious brother Brainkis tonight that's going to sing. We have our precious brother Glenny, Sister Samantha and Sister Laverne. We have the PE group and then we'll have the Johannesburg group to come up and Sister Gail, amen, if they keep themselves ready, if they could come to the back. We're in for a mighty blessing tonight. We just have to lose ourselves in His presence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, die wonders kom doen. Hier binnen my seel. Die dag die Jesus my seel kom red. Hallelujah. You know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. It's a reality. The wonders come to hear when I may sing. The wonders come to hear when I may sing. The day to Jesus may sing complete. The wonders come to hear when I may sing. The day to Jesus may still come and oh yeah, hey, the wonders come to knock your mouth. Hey, the wonders come to hear better may sing. Wonders come to hear better and may sing. The day to Jesus may still come and oh yeah, hey, the wonders come to. Hey, the wonders come to hear better and may sing. Hey, the wonders come to hear better and may sing. The day to Jesus may still come. Oh yeah, the wonders come to. Praise God, hallelujah. You may be seated. We have a brother, amen, here tonight that's going to come and give us a testimony before the specials are rendered. Our brother Keith, I wonder if he could come forward at this time. He's got a testimony of what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. This is going way back. He's going to testify way back. Hallelujah. To 1951. Hallelujah. When the prophet was here. Mighty meetings in Africa. The prophet always longed to come back to Africa. But praise God, they try to stop him, but we can still hear his voice crying out over the tapes, the messages. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'd like to greet everybody tonight in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. And I deem this a great privilege and honor to be found with the saints of God this evening. Amen. And uh, the word says, with the carcass is, that's where the eagle should be gathered tonight. And uh, <clears throat> you know, this morning, while hearing my brothers talking about 51 and uh, in the revival that took place here in 51 and it just went on and on and I had this upon my heart and I said well maybe I must speak to brother Gerald and tell him look brother I'd love to give a testimony this morning or this evening rather and 
So <coughs> what actually happened is uh, in 1951, my mother was barren for 18 years. At that point in time, she was still barren. And she'd been working in a shop called Anstey's in Durban. And while working there, there was a, uh, there's a woman that worked there and she used to belong to the full gospel church. And she was testifying to my mother. She says, uh, you know, speaking to her, she says that, look, you desire to have children. And there's a, name, but there's a man by the name of William Branham that's having services out, uh, you know, out, of, um, out of Gravel Race Course. And if you can trust God for a miracle, God is able to undertake for you. So at that point in time, my mother was about 34 years old. And as I said, it was about 18, uh, nearby 18 years, or 16 to 18 years that she was barren. And uh, she's still alive today, about 76, and she testifies, and my father still testifies to the fact. And uh, so uh, they sent a pink cloth and a blue cloth down to the gravel, down to the gravel race course. And uh, so prayers, you know, were sent forth there. And then this woman brought these prayers, uh, or she brought these cloths back to my mother, and she says, you keep this, and you trust God for a miracle. And uh, then in, on the 22nd of April, 1953 which was about 10 years 10 years before Christ came down on Sunset Mountain in 1963 amen and uh, in 1963 or rather 1953 that's the year I was born and uh, I was right-handed and in 1956 my sister was born and she's left-handed amen and uh, so I have five children two boys and three girls and my sister has five children two boys and three girls and we know five is a number of grace and it speaks of God's grace and I'm thankful that <laughs> amen and amidst all this I'm more than thankful in that I don't only believe that I was just born a natural son of God but I thank God tonight that I'm a spiritual son of God as well amen praise the Lord Amen. And then in the 70s, it was men like Brother Gerald, Brother Dan, Brother Van Zeeburg in those days when they did outreach work. And these were the men that spoke to us about Malachi 4. And they presented this wonderful message unto us. And ever since then, as I've really have a changed life. Though I was born that way, but I also went in the ways of sin. I ended up a gambler. I played on horses. Amen. But I thank God that at my final end, when I finally met the Lord Jesus Christ, I took my last bet and I backed a white horse rider. Amen. Praise the Lord. And furthermore, he was sure to be a winner because on his thigh, on the right hand side, was written the word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So brothers and sisters, I want to thank God that since that time, God has changed my life. What can I say more is that mercy rewrote my life. I love for you to sing that chorus with me as I hand it back to our dear brother just about three times. Mercy rewrote my life. Amen.
mercy revoke my life. Praise His holy name. Can we just give the Lord praise? Just give Him honor. Hallelujah. Testimony of a true witness. Testimonies of true witnesses here tonight. What the Lord has done. Hallelujah. Praise His holy name. He's done great things for you and me, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. My, what a testimony. Praise God. Amen. God deserves all the praise and the honor. Hallelujah. As our precious brother Brankis comes forward at this time. Oh, what can we say? But give God all the glory. Hallelujah. I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, 
It's almost over, brothers and sisters. It's the last lap we're on. Hallelujah. Don't give up now. It's almost over. We're going home. All your situations will be over. Praise God. Amen. No more worrying. Hallelujah. No more mind battles. No more situations. Hallelujah. To bind you. It will all be over. Hallelujah. What a consolation. Praise God. Amen.
Jesus. Amen. You appreciating these testimonies thus far? What does the Johannesburg group get themselves ready to come forward? Praise God. Amen. To come and do the item this evening to the glory and honor of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to stay right under the blood. I'm going to stay right under the blood. I'm going to stay right under the blood. Where the devil can do me no harm No harm, no harm, no harm No harm, no harm, no harm No harm, no harm, no harm Where the devil can do me no harm I'm gonna trust in Jesus' name I'm gonna trust in Jesus' name I'm gonna trust in Jesus' name the devil can do me no harm, 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 no harm. Where the devil can do me no harm, I'm gonna stay right under the blood. I'm gonna stay right under the blood. I'm gonna stay right under the blood. The devil can't do me no harm, no harm, no harm, no harm, no harm. This will be the last time I'm gonna trust, I'm gonna trust in Jesus' name. I'm gonna trust in Jesus' name. I'm gonna trust in Jesus' name. Where the devil can do me no harm, no harm, no harm, no harm.
was crucified The mark stood round about him And they mocked him Until he died And there were two thieves Hanging up beside him Oh! 
As the PE group comes up at this time, praise God, amen. He will remember you, brothers and sisters. We believe that tonight His blood was made a ransom for you and me. Hallelujah. Nothing could wash away our sin but the blood of Jesus Christ. Nothing could make us whole again but His precious blood. Hallelujah. Praise God, amen. It makes a difference. As the PE. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You appreciate the Lord Jesus Christ tonight. Oh, how much you love Him. What He's done, how He's changed your life. Hallelujah. We can never be the same again. It's impossible for us to be the same again. Hallelujah. We want to give Him all the glory and the praise tonight. Hallelujah. Just enjoy His blessings tonight. Thank you, Lord.
We need your power, Lord. We need, we need you, Jesus. We need the Holy Spirit. We got to roll out, Lord Jesus. We won't look to the left. We won't look to the right. All we need is you, Lord. It's you, Lord. Oh, Holy Spirit. tonight you want the Holy Ghost hallelujah you can have it tonight praise God amen all you got to do is cry out like a babe hallelujah he's more than able tonight I believe the windows of heaven are open as our precious sister girl comes forward at this time to come and render item praise God to the glory and honor of the Lord hallelujah as we get ourselves ready hallelujah praise God the most important part of the service tonight hallelujah we get in gear for the word of almighty God hallelujah praise God amen
judge the right from wrong, temperance to handle our temper and time, patience to wait to God's own time, godliness like you we want to be found, brotherly kindness, Lord help us apply it all. is wrong, love's not easily provoked, when evil upon it is cold, love is patient and kind to all, love reaches out when someone falls, love covers a multitude of sin. As we stand to our feet, can we give the Lord praise and honor? Hallelujah. That's our prayer to be like Jesus. Hallelujah. To become that statue of a perfect man, true sons and daughters of God, born sons, filled sons, led by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Is that your prayer tonight? To be like Jesus as we sing it out to you tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. To be like Jesus
just continue playing softly? There's two cars outside with the lights that's on. ND 437823 and GNL 7160. Your lights are on if you can just put them off. Amen. Thank you this evening for another gathering like this, my God, in your very presence. We humbly bow at your feet at this time. Pray, O oh God, that your spirit will continue to bless. We come up against the power of the enemy now. We take every spirit under our control in the mighty name of Jesus and we set the people free. We set everyone free tonight. We set everyone free tonight. Lord, this is the night uh, that we are looking forward, even in the prayer line, that the healings will take place, O oh God. Oh, that you will come and bless us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for the blessings we have this morning. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen and amen. While you're standing, shall we just read a scripture? Amen. Revelations 19 verse 7 Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him For the marriage of the Lamb is come And his wife has made herself ready Have you made yourself ready? Glory to God It says let us be glad and rejoice And give honor to him For the marriage of the Lamb is come And his wife has made herself ready You may be seated, Amen Glory to God. Amen. Thank God uh, for a time like this again in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Well, what can we say? What can we say about the meetings? Amen. Last night, our brother Tuska, God mightily touched us through his ministry. And this morning, of course, our brother Elijah. Amen. Glory to God. Oh, what a meeting. Hallelujah. They just uh, sort of put you off, you know. Uh, Brother Elijah sort of just put us off. Uh, it seems as nobody could speak after him. Amen. That's how, how great the power of God was. Amen. But we thank God this, morning, this, this evening that we could be still be found in the presence of the Lord. Amen. It's wonderful. Amen. I just got to uh, one testimony I'd like to read and also a prayer request. Amen. Anyway, to the prayer request, we're having a prayer line tonight. Amen. So you can put your faith in action and God is going to heal you. Amen. Aan die geliefdes en die Heere, wees toch goed in die naam van Jesus Christus, Sister Mina Ferris van die Aar, Vra voorbereiding vir haar siekte. Sy lei aan hoog bloeddruk en mag seer haar oors ook besig 
om te integreren zijn groot vertrouw die hier is haar genees. Als die gezante van die Heer voor haar zal bid. Die Heer is hier niet allemaal, zuster Minnie Ferris. Sister God is going to touch you. It's according to your faith. If you believe God, tonight as you go through the prayer line, then God is going to heal you. Hallelujah. He promised us. Amen. Brother Elijah, he set us, our faith loose this morning as he ministered the word of God to us. Wonderful Jesus. Amen. And then I've got a testimony here. It says, I've got a thank, thankful heart. I just want to praise and thank the Lord Jesus for healing me this morning. I was very sick. My whole left side, my whole left side, I did have a terrible pain. I was so sick and I thought I won't make it. But God touched me and healed me. Brother Bosman. God bless you brother. Amen. Grateful for that. Amen. Uh, Brother Tulani, a Bible is missing, it got lost near the tuck shop. So if you find the Bible with the name of Brother Tulani, please bring it and we will hand it over to him. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Now what can we say about the meeting this morning? What are we going to say about this meeting? Amen. It's a continuing, it's continuing, amen, of the meeting this morning. We are looking forward now tonight for the mighty hand of God. Hallelujah. That even if you got uh, in a wheelchair, God will lift you up. If you're walking on crutches, God can heal you. God has promised it, and it's in God's word. And we thank God for a time like this. Praise His wonderful name. Amen. We thank God tonight. Amen. I was sitting and thinking about Brother Branham. I read in one of his books. At the time of his very sorrow and uh, uh, the time when his wife died and his little daughter, as he walked uh, from the graveside and he walked towards home, a certain man came and pulled up with his car along Brother Branham. And he said to Brother Branham, he said, Billy, I always hear you shouting down there in the tent, shouting this Jesus. What do you say about him now? Look what he's done. Brother Branham turned around and he said, my friend, even if he has to send me to hell, I will still believe him. I will still trust him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Such a believer has to tell me that I must go to hell and go burn. He says, right in the flames, I will say, still say, you are Lord and God. I still trust him and I still believe him. Glory be to God. You see, he was sealed by the power of God. He was predestinated. That was his job. As our brother Elijah said this morning, to turn the hearts of the children back to the faith of the forefathers. Yeah. Hallelujah! Today we find out that a small little thing would push us down. But we want to say as Job said, though you slay me, yet will I trust. I'm going to have full confidence in this God. So though you send me, though you send me to hell, Lord, I will still believe you. You see, that was his final tie post. That was his absolute. That was his belief. Nothing could change him. That was his tie post. And he believed that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus. You know, I'm getting old. But I'm trusting God for a mighty revival. I'm trusting God for a great revival. 
Hey man, I'm old, but you see this roof here? I can fly up there. Sorry that I couldn't have got this message ten years ago. But God has a time. God has a set time. God knows what He's doing. And what God does, He, he doesn't, He can never change. He won't change it. But your time is predestinated. Glory to God. Oh, what is our final time post? What do we believe? What's your absolute? Listen here, yeah, get yourself ready for the meeting tonight. Brother Branham says, if you come to a prayer line and you say, well, excel my probeer, I will not try and go and see what will happen. You might as well sit in your seat. Don't come and waste our time tonight. Sit in your seat, man. Hallelujah. Stay there. But if you've got your faith set on the word of God, glory to God, then you can come through the prayer line. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Don't waste the time. Don't waste the pastor's time. Don't waste the minister's time. Because it's your faith that will make you whole. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. Brother. Sister. High blood. What is high blood? What is high blood? Jesus' blood heals. The blood of Christ upon the cross heals your high blood and brings it normal. So right where you are seated, you can trust God where you're sitting for your high blood. Amen. And when you come through the prayer line, you just come and thank God. Thank you for healing me. Glory to God. Amen. I must hand over now. Amen. I got no biggie bottom. So I got no break. Brother Benham tells him a little story. As he read the scripture here. Let us be glad and rejoice, he says. Hallelujah. And give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come. And his wife has made herself ready. She has made herself ready. So he speaks of a little girl. Glory to God. There was a family there, a rich company. I'm just going to cut it short. And this company, the owner of the company, had bought a, a big range. She had a big range. She was a company. And uh, he had a manager in the company. The manager had daughters, silly daughters. We all got daughters. I hope our daughters are not silly. Silly daughters. And the, and the, the owner of, this, of, of, of the business, his son was of age, and the young man said, I must now begin to look for a wife. And he visited the ring. When he got the, the manager's daughter's head about it, they said, Shoo! They said, We're going to draw his attention. We're going to try and make him marry one of us. They walk out, some of them may be. To attract him in a miniskirt. The gospel of Jesus Christ cannot be preached like a miniskirt. You must preach the gospel complete and full. No miniskirt gospel. Hallelujah. I don't know whether you understand me. If you add, it will be added. If you take away, it will, your name will be taken away. So you preach it as it is. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't tell God, this is for me, this is for my church. Not that. 
and not that you take it as it is no interpretation to the word of God I'm sorry something has just come to my mind as a certain pastor here by the name of Mark Moodley we noticed you brother when you came in we want to welcome you welcome in our midst brother very very welcome brother Mark Moodley Amen forgive me I'm getting old slipped my mind Amen so this young girl's got himself ready this this young man is looking for a way oh Jesus of Nazareth came the way from glory down to the cross died upon the cross looking for a bride here comes Malachi 4 to interpret to us the word of God and tells us how to get in contact with this man and be ready as a bride so for three nights they had a show three nights they tried to attract him but nothing moved him he was looking for a bride with a godly character a godly character praise God hallelujah and so as the last evening the last night of the show he went out and as he walked baby on the corridors outside and he looked out here comes another little young girl she was a slave girl she was a cousin to these girls but she had to do all the dirty work no feet on her shoes something has tracked him he looked at the girl he said good evening girlie it says she got so sh that her plates fell out of her hands she tried to hide her feet because she's got no shoes on she said can I speak to you he said can I speak to you she was shivering and shaking he says don't be afraid she says he asked her will you marry me Jesus wants to know whether you are ready to marry him hallelujah glory to God he took the ring he placed the engagement ring in the finger he said I'm coming back after one year he's coming back have you made yourself ready glory to God he's coming back for you and tonight in this meeting at this convention we have to check our lives I must check my life not what I'm speaking but what I am I must live what I am what I say glory to God we are happy to be here tonight amen I don't want to waste brother Tusker's time amen we still got a prayer line amen we are now going to want to sing one chorus and call brother Tusker to the front we want to welcome this man from France amen hallelujah we have France with us we have Zimbabwe with us this morning and we still got Zimbabwe with us so we want France now to come May God bless you while our brother sings the chorus. Hallelujah, let's just stand. Hallelujah, give God the glory, give Him the glory, give Him the glory, give Him the glory. Just praise God for you, for being here tonight. Praise God for sending us, Brother Tusker.
you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your grace and your love. May you undertake for us tonight, O oh Lord, and come in our midst and confirm your word with signs, wonders, and miracles. We are really relying on you, Lord. We know you are here and we are waiting on you, Lord, tonight. Come and move the waters, Lord. We go to Silo, Lord, to the pool. We go after all those years we've been anointed, Lord. The seven thunders revelation anointed our eyes. But tonight we go to Silo, Lord. We go to the pool, Lord, to get a complete healing, a complete feeling, a complete sealing, a complete deliverance, Lord. And here we are tonight in 1994, ready, Lord, for a manifestation, a display of healing, Lord, of the ministry of Jesus Christ and of charity, Lord. Oh, we pray, Lord. And we ask you your presence in our midst tonight. We pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Hallelujah. I just want to greet you again, once again tonight. As you remain standing, we are going to turn to the Word of God. Hallelujah. And I just once again to thank each and every one, especially Brother Blair, his wife and family for the warm welcome and uh, their love towards the ministry and also Brother Jeremy and his wife and church in Durban. I really appreciated that and I appreciated your all coming and uh, what can we say about the message this morning, Brother Mandu, God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Did you appreciate it? Ma, ma, ma. So what a faith. Praise God, what a preacher. Ma, ma, ma. May God bless him. And I just felt so good. I was sitting at the edge of my chair all the time. It was difficult to stay uh, sitting down. There was such a quickening power there this morning. Amen. And I appreciate also the songs, the solos, and the groups. May God richly bless you. Please pray for us in France. We need your prayers. And we're still praying for you. Amen. And pray for me tonight. I'm really weak, but I know Jesus is strong. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I want to turn to Joshua chapter 1. And I will turn to John chapter 14 and 1 Corinthians 13. Joshua chapter 1. And now after the death of Moses... The servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nam. Moses minister saying, Moses, my servant is dead. Now therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, and to the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon that have I given unto you as I said unto Moses from the wilderness and this Lebanon even unto the great river the river Euphrates all the land of the Hittites and unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your coast there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of a good courage, for unto this people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. John 14 verse 12 Sister Jane and the family greets you I just found them before the meeting they are praying for us and they greet you specially too 14.12 Verily, verily I say unto you He that believeth on me the works that I do shall he do also and greater works that these shall he do because I go unto my father and whatsoever you shall ask in my name that I will do 
that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwells with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you yet a little while, and the world sees me no more, but ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. At that day you shall know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. 1 Corinthians. Sorry. And verse 1, Thou I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass, or a tingling cymbal. And now I have the gift of prophecy, and understand all mysteries, and all knowledge, and now I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains, and have not charity, I am nothing. And thou I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and thou I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profit me nothing. Charity suffer long, and is kind. Charity envy not. Charity vant, uh, vant, vant not itself. It's not puffed up. Does not behave itself unseemly. Seek not her own. Is not easily provoked. Think no evil. Rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. Bear all things, believe all things, hope all things, endure all things. Charity never fails. Lord Jesus, we read your word, and may you just bless it tonight. Bless your servant and bless the people, Lord. And may the word of God be handled to them tonight. The sword, Lord Jesus, that they can just make themselves a way to perfection, a way to healing, a way to the Holy Ghost and fire tonight. We pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. May be seated. So I have a title tonight, The Never Failing Power of Charity. Amen. Never Failing Power of Charity. Brother Branham saying, here in a service in South Africa in 1951, in this book, Prophet Visits South Africa, I know that in the audience tonight, there are many people who are already healed. You may not realize this right now, but mark what I tell you. In weeks to come, you will see people who were once sick come to their pastors and friends and say that stomach trouble is gone. The cancer, I don't have it anymore. And look at my arm, I can use it. And many other things such as that. You will see that I have told you the truth. Remember, the Word of God will defeat Satan anywhere, anytime, and under any condition. So I don't mind who's there tonight, or who's not there, or where we are, anywhere. I don't mind the time of the day, the time of the year, anytime. I don't mind which condition you, you are into tonight. In any condition, the Word of God will defeat Satan. When Jesus was here, the Father was in Him, and He was equal to the Father. However, when He met Satan, He did not use any of His gifts. He only said, it is written. Every time Jesus said, it is written, He defeated Satan. Every time. So I say, it is written tonight, they shall do greater works. You have the promise in God's word. And every time you use the word in faith, Satan will leave you.
So what I say tonight, I just want to preach a few minutes, not to exhaust you, but to build a little bit of faith. The never failing power of charity. And I won't be long. I'm not coming, uh, 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 not counting on myself tonight to bring a good message that will make the convention or whatever. We already had a wonderful meeting this morning. The bride perfectly restored. Amen, Sarah. Yesterday I tried to sow seeds in case somebody could be set free by the Son of Man. Amen. So I do agree that Malachi 4 revealed six seals. I do agree with that. But Christ himself, descending from heaven, this noted angel on the right in the constellation, he revealed the seventh seal. Because he is the seventh seal. So Christ gathered everything in himself. Capstone, headstone, evening light message. Look and life took the picture of him. Shalom, bride. Peace. I'll be with you for the space for about half an hour. I'll be even in you. I am just trying to reveal something to you. As everybody is trying to say that charity will only be revealed at the end. Everybody is trying to say that. But I am trying, Jesus is trying to say that He is already here tonight. His love is here. The Comforter has come. And a comforter is not telling you that you won't make it. A comforter wants you to be healed. Wants you to be comforted. Wants you to be encouraged. Wants to bless you. Until we come to the measure of the fullness of Christ. Amen. Then we'll see a real Christmas. Amen. The Word made flesh. God walking on two feet. Praise the Lord. Happy Christmas. Praise God. So tonight I'm not counting on my own merits. On my own abilities. To preach a word. I'm not counting on any gift of any kind. I'm not counting on my own gift of healing. Prophecy. Tongues. Knowledge. Revelation. And so forth. I'm not thinking I'm going to bring a revival. Amen. Because Brother Abraham said, <laughs> Ministers don't bring the revival. The revival comes by the people. Amen. So if you want to be revived tonight, you better get into action because I can't revive you. I can't bring anything new tonight. Amen. And I can't do anything for you tonight. I am totally unable to manifest anything to you tonight. So please don't rely on me to bring something tonight. But start to get into action. Start to praise the Lord. Start to shout. Start to rejoice. And don't worry. Whoever is sitting next to you, start yourself and you will receive your blessing. Don't worry. We are here. We arrived. And charity is here tonight. Amen. Oh, glory. Amen. I'm not going to be defeated. No, I won't. I'm not going to go back to France defeated. But I'm going to go to France with a joy in my heart, with a peace in my soul, with a song. Because Jesus is here in South Africa and he is setting the bride free tonight. So please don't rely upon me. Don't look at me because I'm a whitey. I have the same color that you have. I come from the same father that you have. Amen. I have the same revelation that you have. I am your brother. I am trying to help you tonight. My father. 
families in England. I'm away from my family. I didn't come here for a show. I came here to be a blessing. So away with your national spirit. Away with the barriers. Away with the problems. Away with divisions. is not here. Jesus Christ is here. The Holy Spirit is here. Charity is here. The pillar of fire is here. The angel of the covenant. Almighty God. Jehovah. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Shammah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not a white tea. Not a white man. But God himself. I'm not preaching to New South Africa. I am preaching to New Jerusalem. Away with all your mind battles. blessing. Do you want the power of God in your life? Jesus is here tonight to meet your need, to answer by the fire. Amen. The God of Elijah is there with Elisha. He's ready to answer by the fire and to fill you with the Holy Ghost. It on. I am serious. Jesus, you are here. Love, dove, charity, perfection, Holy Spirit, headstone, capstone, adoption, the angel. You are here tonight, Lord. Manifest your presence. Sweep all over the audience. May the people be filled with the Holy Ghost. Baptized with the fire of God. We don't mind if I don't preach. I want the Holy Ghost to come down and confirm this word that Malachi for preached in 1951. The same God of Elijah is here tonight and is ready to answer you. I don't mind if I don't read my notes. Charity is here. It's a never failing power. It's a never failing power. It never failed in the ages. In all the ages past. It won't fail tonight. I'm going to bring a revival. I'm not a big man. I'm not a bishop. I'm not a pope. I'm not here to take control. I'm here to help you. I'm your brother. Like Brother Branham was your brother. When he came in 51, he didn't come for himself. He came to be a blessing. He had a vision. A vision that there will be a perfect bride. With that spot. With that wrinkle. That we walk in the splendor of his resurrection. And I have the same vision tonight. And those ministers, they have the same vision tonight. And we are going home. We are leaving this pest house. We are going home. Amen. Seven funders has given faith for rapturing grace. Rapturing grace. So I'm telling you tonight, don't rely, don't count on any ministers to heal you in the prayer line. This 
this is wrong this is not of God this is not the gospel brother so and so and brother so and so touched me no certainly not amen God is not respect of person prayer lines are wonderful and we have nothing against them but I am expecting more tonight I tell you I am expecting more than a prayer line this is my expectation I don't know what is your expectation but for myself I am expecting more than a prayer line tonight I am expecting the Holy Spirit in the power of charity in the power of the fire in the power of love to baptize the people hallelujah to fill us to saturate us like never before This is that! This is that! This is the Holy Ghost Revival! Enough is enough! Amen! The Word of God will defeat Satan under any conditions, anytime, anywhere! Lord, come down, come down on the wings of a dove, manifest yourself, seal your people, feel them, heal them. into the kingdom tonight press into the kingdom of love press into the kingdom of charity press into the kingdom of perfection receive ye the Holy Ghost We are God's redeemed. Keep on bringing the revival. Keep on bringing the revival. The people are already slain, already in the power. May God slain you, feel you, change you, seal you. Too. I want my blessing. Do you want your blessing? Do you want your blessing?
Charitisia! That was with Elijah in 1951. He's here again tonight, visiting his people, feeling them, healing them, under any time, anywhere, under any condition. churches and you will find out that you have been healed from cancer, stomach trouble, filled with the Holy Ghost. Today, today, this scripture is fulfilled. tonight this is the God of Elijah he's here tonight he's not sorry by fire brother Elijah we are in the pool we are in the pool we are in the pool we are here thus say the Lord we are here
thing that I am interested in tonight. I am interested upon the Holy, the baptism of the Holy Ghost in the people. I want to identify charity. God keeps his word. Stay in the spirit. You are revival. I believe it's coming to a time where there is prophecy, it shall fail. Where there is storms, they shall cease. I believe it's coming to a time to when the saints will get together like this and just allow spirit. We just sweep over the audience and just every person in there, all that's wrong, will be taken out. It will be such a presence of the Holy Spirit. Uh, I, believe, I believe while we are to lay hands on them and pray for them now, it's a contact, maybe of a minister anointed, and laying hands on, just a blessing to God. But I believe it's coming a time when God's church is going to be called out like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Where the saints will sit together and the Holy Spirit will just come in and just move just like it was on the day of Pentecost. Organist oh pianist and just heal the people. The Holy Spirit will move and heal the people and raise up the people and great things. I begin to see it happen. May God richly bless you on the wings of a snow white dove. God sends his pure, sweet love, a sign from above. The Holy Ghost is for you tonight. Amen. Healing, perfection, resurrection power, perfect Holy Spirit. Charity is a never failing power. It will never fail. At the end of the road, Brother Branham waited for years and years. He was anointed. But at the end of the road, just before going home, God sent the seventh dove and he was healed. He was healed. He was free. God Send this pure sweet love. Sing it.
And I pray, God, that you will let the dove live. Let the dove live. The same dove that came on the river Jordan. The same dove. The same charity. The same God. The same Holy Spirit. The same angel. The same light. He's here tonight to lead the eagles. The eagles have gathered. They have gathered in the rapturing time. But now, the sweet Holy Dove, the sweet Holy Spirit, is coming down to remove all bitterness, all hatred, all jealousy, all pride, all unrighteousness. The sweet dove is here. You let the dove lead. Grant it, Lord. It's led me to a faith I never had before. How many here would like to say, if you can, if you want to say this, Brother Branham, I've been wrong all my life. Shut your eyes now. Raise your hand. Brother Branham, I've been wrong all my life. I wanted to serve God. But tonight, I am really to surrender. I'm there to surrender. Not, I don't want to lead myself. I don't want false interpretation to lead me. I don't want demons. I don't want sickness. I don't want lust. I don't want faith to lead me. But I want the dove, charity, to lead me on unto the resurrection. I want to serve God, but tonight I'm ready to surrender. I pray, God, that that dove will fly into my heart tonight. I can feel it flutter his wings as he comes in. Raise your hands, will you? Yeah, in the visible audience, all over the building, way out, in the audiences, across the country, way up to Brother Hunt and Brother Coleman. Hallelujah. Glory. I want the dove to fly into my heart tonight. Bring me God's sweet love on the wings of a snow white dove. The Holy Spirit, bring it to me tonight and drop it to my heart. The faith that I have need of in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray God, forgive our sins. The wounded dove has brought the message back. Oh God, it's finished. It's finished. It's finished. It's finished. It's finished. God bless you, bride. Say, brother, the Holy Ghost is here. No man. 
takes control of the meeting and tonight God I came for my blessing I'm not gonna leave here God tonight I'm so determined in my heart that I know when I come to the prayer line and the prophet teaches us that the angel of God stands on the right hand side so when you pass through the prayer line you'll be passing the angel of God first brother first sister you'll be passing through him and tonight we Elijah, like a brother Tuska, where is the God of brother Branham? Where is the God of 1951? We call him that God on the scene tonight in the prayer line, brother. And there's going to be results. There's going to be healings. Barren wombs is going to open, brother. The blinded eyes is going to open. That's our expectation. The ministers that's going to stand here, that's the expectation for the sick to be healed tonight. So you come by faith tonight. Hallelujah. The presence of God is here already. We're going to ask the deacons just to sort of clear the front portion here. We're going to call on the ministers to come and line up. And tonight, brothers and sisters, you come expecting. You come believing. Knowing that God is able to meet with you. And as our brother Tasca read the coat, God will de defeat Satan anytime, anywhere, under any circumstances. It doesn't matter what it is tonight. I don't care what the doctors say. We are looking to what Dr. Jesus has to say tonight. And he says, by my stripes, you are healed. God, what a presence here tonight. You want to be seated in the meanwhile? And I think the most appropriate song we can play and sing is only believe. That's what they sang when the prophet was here. And that's what we're looking for, Brother Freddy. That same God that came in 51. Man, God is still alive tonight. And that faith in your heart is raised to a bracket tonight. I believe where you're going to receive what you're coming for. You want the Holy Ghost. That is yours tonight, brother, sister. Hallelujah. You want healing. It's yours. Backslider, you can be restored. Whatever it might be tonight. I want the ministers could line up at this portion here. Hallelujah. Will all the ministers come to this time? And I want us as we sit there, just sing that only believe. Lord, I believe tonight that I'm going to be healed tonight, God. I'm not coming doubting. I'm not coming hoping so. But I come tonight believing that you are able, God, to heal me. And if you are sick tonight, don't say, well, maybe I'll be healed. Come tonight. If you are sick and I want you to line up, the deacons will line up from the right hand side. Hallelujah. The prophet says, why? Because that's where the angel of God stands. So if you're sick at this time and you want to come in the prayer line, you might do that. Do it now at this time. If you are sick, you're coming for the Holy Spirit. You're coming for joy. You're coming for a touch. You might come at this time. Praise God. You can join the queue. You're not ashamed to come. You're not ashamed. You're not afraid. You heard what the prophet said. From the Tascarellas, the quote, God will defeat Satan anyway. Any place. Any time. Under any circumstances. And we want you to come. We don't care how hard the case is. We don't care if you're in a wheelchair, crippled, blind, cancer, tumor, high blood, no matter what it is. God is bigger than your circumstances tonight. Hallelujah. Man. Go 
Lord is able to heal every mind battle tonight. Satan is already defeated. And Jesus never fails. Charity never fails tonight. Hallelujah, God. Oh, hallelujah. Could the minister's wives, the deacon's wives, the elders' wives just come and help us tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Could he just come and assist us? I need my portion, God. Lord, I didn't waste my time by coming tonight. I didn't spend my money, my substance, God. But I'm coming believing tonight that you have already done the work. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit is already here. Charity is already here, brother. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is already here tonight. Hallelujah. I 
I'm not ashamed to come in the prayer line. I'm not ashamed to come tonight. Believe me, God is able to heal me. I'm not ashamed to come and pray for my circumstances. I'm not ashamed to come and pray for my husband, my wife. I'm not ashamed to pray for my children. I'm not ashamed to come tonight because Christ died that I might have deliverance, that I might have healing.